Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Neuron Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials, but today we're actually going to be... I'm making another part to my previous how to export and upload iMovie tutorial. This is the new version of iMovie. Let me open it up and uh, show you guys. Um, but like I said, if you this is your first time watching this um, on my channel and uh, you see it's part two in the in the title um i do suggest i recommend you watch part one before you watch this part because it's going to clear some things up as what i'm doing but let's just jump right in and uh first things first i'm going to show you guys imovie properties um i also made a tutorial on this i'll have that in the description as well for you guys to check out be sure to check out that video as well if you haven't yet and uh what you properties can either brought up by hitting command j on your keyboard and you'll see right here but as soon as your if your mouse is on this side, it'll, the the properties will go away. And uh, what you want to do is put your mouse on this side and hit Command J, and uh, your properties will come up here. iMovie properties, or you can simply go uh, click on your project down here, and then scroll over. I mean, just come over here, not going into your project because you can see it just went away. Click on your project, and there you are. You have i your iMovie properties. It'll tell you the definition, where you've exported it, or when have you exported it before, and then you can go to settings. But my previous video, actually, I mean my video that I'll have a link in the description for you guys, iMovie properties, will actually discuss the rest of these items here. But I just wanted to show you guys this. Some of you left a comment regarding uh, how do you find the iMovie properties, and here you guys are. That's your iMovie properties. But now to begin, in order to export, when you export um, your project, okay, you just created a nice project here as you see in this video. We have a, our nice project named iMovie Tutorials. It's all ready to upload. So what I'm going to do, um, before you upload, you want to make sure that your project is selected or you click on your project somewhere in the project. You don't want to select one of the clips below in your uh, library, in your uh, events. You don't want to, like, let's say, okay, look, I have this selected. Now you go up to share to export. And for this example also, I do recommend, you, like I said already, um, watch the previous tutorial. I'm going to be going to file. That's the normal way I export and uh, file. You can still do YouTube. You can do that. You just have to sign in. And uh, But like I said, check out the previous tutorial. Now I'm going to go to file. And uh, you can see here, since I had this uh, sad face selected, um, it's only going to export that sad face as an image, basically. And it tells you, it gives you these different odd looking uh, formats. So, what you want to do, you want to first make sure you have your project selected. Like you have it selected, you have your project selected. The one you want to export, it's all ready to upload. Now, here we are, we're going to do that right now. You go file. And I'm, I'm going to name it iMovie Tutorials. I'm going to make sure, yeah, this looks like my project here. And it's 30 seconds. This is how how long, how, what the size is going to be of it. Megabytes, 77.1 megabytes. And if you lower the quality, you'll notice that the size of it reduces substantially. But we're going to go HD, 1080p. Actually, for this example, we're just going to go 720p, just for time's sake. And then you can also see the compatibility. You really don't need to worry about this, because if it's compatible with the Mac and PC, that means it will, most likely, it will be compatible with everything else as well. And uh, add to theater, we're not going to do that right now either. So I'm going to hit next, and I'm going to go, I want to save it straight to my desktop. That way it comes up right on my desktop, and I'm going to name it iMovie Tutorials. And just hit save, and now it will begin exporting. And as you will see, here you are. Here's the file on my desktop to the right-hand side. And it, on, the, on iMovie itself, it shows the top right-hand corner. It says Processing, Transcoding, iMovie Tutorials. Right here in the circle, the circle will slowly fill, out, fill up, meaning that it's getting closer to finishing processing. And uh, you just want to wait for that. It shouldn't take, especially if it's a 30-second clip, it shouldn't take no longer than five minutes. Honestly, if it's taking six, three hours, that means uh, something selected wrong. And I suggest you delete this project and create a new project and try it in a different project like I think I just said project like five times in a row but while we're waiting for that um I have mentioned this previous in previous tutorials several times um there are a lot of bugs in this in uh, this new version of iMovie and the best way I'm um, to help uh, Apple solve these is uh, I'm gonna leave another link in the description below so there's gonna be three links um one for a video for uh the previous part of how to export and upload and uh, another for a video for uh, about iMovie properties and a link for that goes straight directly to Apple support regarding iMovie and uh, you can actually leave your own discussion there 
and uh, let Apple know of any problems you're having. That way they can uh, actually help you solve those problems and they can actually help you. Um, they'll actually patch those bugs or glitches that you're discovering on your um, in your iMovie that you're having problems with. But yeah. And uh, so yeah, here we are. My project just done. It popped up. I'm going to exit out of it. And uh, it's right here on my desktop now. Now I'm going to actually just drag this a little bit to the side here now. That way I have my... I can see it here. But other than that, like I just said, I'm gonna continue with the Apple support. Um, you can also leave a comment below on this video as well if you have any other questions as well. And like I said, I will get back to you as soon as possible and I'll do my best on helping you or answer any questions you have. Um, but here we are, we're gonna go straight into my uh, YouTube channel and we're gonna to go to upload now. And uh, I'm gonna actually drag my file straight back in here. And as you can see, it exported as a QuickTime file. If I double click it, it's a dot mp4 for, for format so i can simply drag and drop in here or i can hit click on it and upload and grab it from my desktop but i just like to drag and drop i find it easier and as you can see it will be uploading it should go fairly smoothly really fast and you can change your title um description tags and you you most of you already know this you see and it's just as simple as that it shouldn't be no more difficult than that and to upload I'm actually going to cancel this because that is definitely a video that nobody will want to watch on YouTube. <laughs> it's a bunch of random things. But uh, here you are. I'm going to go back to my channel, minimize this, and uh, this I'm actually going to delete as well because I'm not going to use that. And we have the project here of our tutorials. Um, I hope this video actually helped you guys and answered some more questions. Uh, be sure to leave more questions in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, everybody have a great day. Later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of you.